The electric eel ride is said to be one of the most exhilarating rides at SeaWorld, but after one man was injured, one previous rider says the ride is much scarier than he expected. It wasn't safe. SeaWorld's electric eel roller coaster is set to take riders on a thrilling ride. But for Fernando Garcia, the ride was anything but fun. It wasn't fun. It was very scary, very scary experience. Garcia says he and his family took a trip to the theme park late last year. They chose to get on the electric eel coaster, but he says his excitement quickly turned into worry. I noticed these shoulder straps were frayed uh, more than halfway on both sides. And then that roller coaster goes upside down pretty slow. So I was concerned that, you know, is it going to hold me? Is it, you know, it's, is it going to break? Before taking off, he asked the worker if his straps were okay and was told there was nothing to worry about. It was the scariest ride that I've ever had. I had to hold myself up with my legs. When the ride was going upside down, I squeezed as hard as I could to hold myself. He says he's never been to the park since and questions if he'd ever go back after a man in his 20s was recently hurt during the ride. San Diego Fire confirms the man was taken to the hospital. The extent of his injuries is not known at this time, but the agency says he suffered acute trauma injuries. It could have been me that I, yeah, I could have fallen off, the straps could have broken. Online, dozens of people voiced their concerns. This user said they too had a terrifying experience after they noticed their seatbelt straps were also frayed and ripped. They go on to say that they immediately told a ride operator who allowed the ride to continue. Another person added that the belt is not actually what's holding you in, it's the backup for the restraint. However, she, meaning the worker, should have taken it more seriously. Garcia says he too wants the park to do more to address safety concerns. If they see something like a strap that holds, you know, a rider down, make sure it's, it's repaired or reported or the ride stopped just to fix everything on the, on the coaster. I reached out to SeaWorld about the rider's complaints, but have not heard back. The electric heel ride was temporarily shut down while the California Division of Occupational Safety and Health investigates what happened. I contacted the agency and was told the investigation could take up to six months. There was no time frame for when the theme park plans to reopen the ride. For Sierra de la Femme, CBS 8.